Hi, this is Dominic. In this video, I want to show you how to simulate location changes in the iOS simulator. Let's say you have an app where you can draw on a map while you walk around um, in, in, in the real world. And you want to see if it works um, when it is connected to your computer, to Xcode, so you can debug your code. And um, Xcode or the simulator has built in location change simulations. So let's run these, this application on the iOS simulator. Um, excuse my setup, I have a quite old um, MacBook Air. I'm des desperately waiting for the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Um, so let's say you have this application, then go in the simulator on features, location, and click, for example, on city run. Then we can start the recording of the, the path. And as you can see here, the simulator simulates changes of the location according to a city run in Cupertino. Well, so this is nice, but what if we would like to add our own path? And uh, you can do that by using a GPX file. And in the GPX file, you define the different locations you want to simulate and time. Um, and and what, it's, what, what, what is important is the time difference between uh, those, those places, because this is used by the simulator to uh, simulate movement. So the greater the time difference between two points, uh, the longer it takes in the simulator during the simulation to get from one point to the other. So you can use this to um, add your own tracks. And uh, when we do that, um, with the application still running, you can ignore this log output. There's something strange going on in Xcode 11.4, uh, I guess. And um, with the application running, you can click in the debug bar on the location icon. And there you can see I have an, an entry for the file I added to the project, which is called track. I called it track. You can call it whatever you like. And if I click that, the simulator simulates um, the track I put here in the GPX, um, GPX file. It takes a bit for <laughs> Wait a minute. We stop here and Record again. This this is um, a bug in the in the application I'm developing right now, so can ignore that. Um, so now it simulates the track according to the track GPX file I added to the project, and uh, this way I can add different tracks and different movements and, and see if my app works. You can generate those GPX files yourself. It's quite easy. Um, structure. Uh, it's an XML uh, file. To help with the generation of those uh, files, I've uh, created an open source project, GPX Root Creator. It's a Swift UI Catalyst app, so it's kind of rough at the edges because Swift UI is, and, and Catalyst are quite new. Um, but you can use it to generate those, those um, GPX files and export those. And here you can put in how long, the, how, how long it should take from one point to another, and you even can change it from point to point, the time difference, um, check that out and see if it helps in your development um, workflow. This is all I have today and see you next time. Bye.